Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Under Rail. We're in Core City and we're doing some trading, some talking, well lots of talking actually. And we're over here at um, this clinic where Heidi resides. Perforated eardrum? <laughs> Do you have anything to trade? Let's see if she has anything to trade. She does. Advanced head, focus stim, focus stim. Health hypo and trance. What the hell is that? I have no idea, but we're gonna buy the ampules because we always need them. Um, maybe some more. We have 20 of this. She only buys medical stuff, unfortunately, as per usual. Uh, how much for this, actually? Eight Stygian coins. Not too bad, actually. Psionic Mentor. Telekinetic Proxy. Use the Psionic Mentor to imprint the knowledge of a psionic ability into your brain. This is quite nice. Telekinetic Proxy. No idea what that is, and I need Psychokinesis. I'm gonna buy it, I think. Just to see what it is. Uh, let's see if I can sell her some t something. Blood, burrow, or poison. I don't need the poison, so I'm gonna sell her that. Uh, saturated Psychic Catalyst, Taurine, Morphine, Syringe, uh, hmm, Mild Tranquilizer Agent, I'm gonna sell that, Insectoid Saliva, I'm gonna keep that, Crawler Poison, she can have that, Cavier Poison, she can have that as well, and then I can sell her some Morphine, I guess. Reduces damage, yeah, by 50%. It's not bad, actually. Hmm. Oh, she doesn't want this. Okay. Fine. <sighs> That's expensive. That's really expensive. You know what? Never mind. You're gonna give me Stygian coins. There. <clears throat> right. I'd like to ask you some questions about the city. Ask away! Away! What can you I think she's high or something. What can you tell me about the drop zone? If you're going down there, you better be careful. The zones might seem poor, un underf underfed, and weak, but you never know what you'll find. The drop zone. What can you tell me about the arena? Oh, interested in the arena, I see. Now, wonder. So many come to Core City only to see the arena. It feeds our economy, it does. Gladiator fight beasts and uh, other gladiators for our ent entertainment. Our entertainment! I also like watching it from a professional standpoint. Gladiators find new ways to injure each other, especially psi wielding ones, so I need to keep up, learn and apply. Uh, what can you tell me about the gauntlet? The oligarchs came up with a new sport. A new sport! Runner! Runners run through dangerous rooms for our fun. Sometimes they die, but when we don't cry, we don't cry! Only those that are good can apply with such high death rates, I don't know why. I also make rhymes when I operate on people. It's fun. It is it is fun. Yeah, she's crazy. What can you tell me about the oligarchy? No matter what you hear about them, I don't know what you heard about them, but whatever you hear about them, know one thing. Without them, Core City would have been deserted years ago, with only, perhaps, gangs remaining. The arena brings in the coin. Core Tech employs great minds, Praetorian security, Praetorian security disciplines, and JKK makes sure it all runs as it should. What can you tell me about Core Tech? More Tech! Hey, I like that. <laughs> it describes them perfectly. But why haven't they named themselves like that? Why not? This needs to be investigated. What can you tell me about JKK? JKK was founded by uh, Gunnar Edstrom. He's one of the oligarchs. He knows everything. Everything! They make broadcasts through the underrail, but they also do the opposite. Think, 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 think! They do the opposite, so they, what, jam communications? Praetorian security. My husband was working for them years ago. He was brave. He, he was brave. Wow, that's the, I guess he died. That was the only one where she didn't cackle. Hardcore city bar. Oh, that's a good question, a good one. Let's think about this together. Decompose the name. Hardcore? It is, it is. City? Well, it isn't a city. Core city. Bar? Bar! So in conclusion, it is what it is. A hardcore city bar. What about chorists? Scientists, not cultists. That's what I always say. They think, not just follow. They have a unique way. I like them, but hey, some people don't. Let's discuss something else. I will back away slowly. What about the faceless invasion? The faceless are invading? I'm fooling around, around, I have no common. We'll see, we will see. I'm looking for the acid hunters. Who? The acid hunters, the scavenger gang. Who? Forget about it. I've never heard of them, never. 
I'll be going now, slowly. I can't go there, unfortunately. Oh well. Doesn't seem like I can loot anything there. Commoner, Praetorium Bomber, Commoner, Commoner. What about this guy? Oh, that's Hardcore City Bar. I thought I would really need to find it somewhere. Alphabet. This is so stupid. Why would merchants refuse to buy my stuff? What the hell is their problem? Oh yeah, that's the guy that uh, just has useless stuff. Yeah. He might have some good stuff, I wonder. Cardboard container, there we go. We could make our own uh, TNT. Right. Commoner, Harriet, Jean. I'm sorry, sweetie, I've got a lot of work to do. Talk to my husband if you need something. The man greets you loudly. Welcome to Hardcore City Bar, the place for only the most hardcore men and women of the Underrail. I haven't seen you before. I'm Gene. This is my wife, Harriet. Name your poison. Ooh, look at the lovely toilets there. Let's see what you've got. Uh, three foodstuffs. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I've got a Neil sandwich for that guy. Uh, the hang hungry guy, right? I need some general directions. Absolutely! Core City is quite simple to understand, mate. You're currently on the middle level of the Core City. You've got your merchants here as well as the arena, just west from the bar. The whole eastern area on this level is a drop zone. Avoid it if possible. And finally, above us is the residential area. There you'll find Cortec, Praetorian Security and JKK buildings. Three major enterprises of Core City. As I said, Core City is easy to navigate. I'd like to ask you some questions. Tell, tell me the name and I'll deliver. Alphabet. Not him. Just not him. He's absolutely insane. I mean, he comes from time to time here in Hard Horse City Bar and puts some stinking animal arts on the table. I tell him to get lost. He tells me... And you're not gonna believe this. He tells me... What the hell? Barkeepers are merchants. They should be able to buy what I offer them. Like, yeah. So how much will he give me for these hearts? <laughs> Calm down, Gene. He wasn't shown. Uh, he hasn't shown up ever since you punched him in the nose. Ha! <laughs> he comes back sometimes. Sits outside. Gives me the collie wobbles when I see him. Ugh. Yeah, that's definitely a poke at uh, you know games where you can sell to merchants as long as they have money. My cola. My cola, young. Absolutely. He owns the mechanic store near Hal Hallam's Electronics. Um, I mean, owned the store. It's closed now. Poor guy got into some problems with. The oligarchs and his daughter started working for the JKK. Don't ask. John the Beautiful. He's a nice kid. A bit weird with his food for information policy, but it's been working for him, which is hardcore. You can find him behind the bar. That's where he hangs out when he's uh, not at most stall. And he is also very. Uh, he's also very cute. So when I tell a girl she's got a nice patootie, you hit me on the head. But when you say someone's cute, it's okay. I'm absolutely flabbergasted. Shut up, sweetie. Oscar, the weapon store owner. Oscar, Oscar. He's the most hardcore customer I've ever... I've ever probably seen. I love that man. Absolutely the best. I never liked Oscar. He always seems so full of himself. He used to be a Praetorian enforcer. So what? But I still smile when he says hi. It's common courtesy. That's enough, love. I love you, but please. Derrica, the general store owner. Now that woman is gorgeous. She's funny, she's smart, she owns a successful store. What more can a man ask for? She's married, mate. Just so you know. Indeed. <laughs> Jean remains quiet. Dr. Heidi Kratz. Glad you asked me, mate. I get asked often how come such a crazy person can be such a good doctor. I tell him this. She is the best doctor I've ever had the pleasure of being cut open by. Heidi had, uh, has had a traumatic experience in the past. She had to do an emergency operation on her husband. He died on the table. Poor woman went insane. Very sad story. Ugh. Halim, the electronics merchant. He's a... Uh different person than the rest of us. I never see him at the bar. He doesn't like to going to the arena, he's an expert in what he does, but I'll be damned, mate. He's strange. I like him. He's quiet and an intellectual. Those chorists also seem pretty intellectual, if you ask me. Don't let them hear you, love. They'll come swarming in. They'll drive in the customers away. Uh, all the customers. Let's discuss something else. Um, I need to talk about talk to Gorski. He leans forward and speaks in a quiet voice. Absolutely. Take this key here and use the back entrance. It's just around the corner. 
He winks, then laughs and continues talking loudly. That's a good joke, very funny. Uh, how do you feel about the faceless? If they do break into the city, I'll give them a discount. <laughs> what Gene wanted to say is, he's not hardcore enough to defy the faceless. Why, love, why? Sweetie, I'm joking. Hardcore men know how to take a joke. Cook, clean, tell their wives they lost, uh, they love them from time to time and have the... She clears her throat. <clears> throat> uh, <laughs> uh, what can you tell me about your wife? Absolutely! She's gorgeous, wonderful, smart, funny. This bar would be so empty and lifeless without her, and... That's enough, Jean. I can see you're practiced. And you haven't complimented a girl's patootie in two days. I love you. <laughs> Dominating. I'm looking for the acid hunters. I know them. They're led by a man. Hmm. Cornell. Cornell. Thanks, love. They come from time to time. A bunch of scavengers. I don't think there's anything striking about them. I haven't seen them in a while. Who knows? Maybe they're dead. <laughs> okay. Bye. Well, that was interesting. Commoner. Core City rocks! Where's the guy that's always hungry? I want to give him that burger. I thought he was here. I thought he said to meet at the, uh, this place. Hmm. That guy's a psyker, apparently. Can I go up here, then? Is that where I need to go? He said just around the corner. I don't know if that's where I need to go. If that's where Gorski is. Commoner, 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 commoner. One of my cousins actually fought in the arena. He won two fights. This is locked. Back door. Oh, back door key. Uh, what's on the shelves? Probably nothing. Oh, some scraps. Don't mind if I do. Strange that that guy didn't t uh, take him yet. Core city plants. Old and damaged core city plants. Mostly illegible. Only one point ex of experience, but you can do it ten times, so that's not bad. What's up here? Oh, this is probably where we need to go. All of these are red, though. Let me save and see what happens. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, yeah, that was Bob. Hello, Bob. You don't want to do that, Bob. You really don't want to do that. <laughs> and I missed. Of course I missed. Well, I'm gonna kill him and then... Oh, I think security is coming. Blip. 240. Holy crap. Oh. Port Zenith security pass. Bob Smith, this is a secur security pass for the protectorate base located in the core city docks. It belongs to Bob Smith. Interesting. Well, but I'm gonna reload because actually we can check the rest. Mechanical 50. Well, I can always do that. I don't know. I, I like doing stuff like this in the game and then reload. I just want to see what's inside. Thug. Okay. Hello. <laughs> they just shoot at you. Um, let's go over here. Let's do this. And now I can do this. <laughs> There's a refrigerator here with food. And what does this guy have? A key. Hardcore city bar room key two. Nothing much. No one on the toilet. Foot locker. Ooh, lots of Stygian coins. Nothing else. And a light switch. Huh. Quite nice. Lockpick this door. Ooh, this seems like it could be a passage. Nope. Scavenger. He's probably just gonna attack me if I come inside. Lockpick. Ooh, that's 75. And I've got 105 skill with a Mark II. Oh, yeah. He attacks you because he saw me do that. Well, that was a bit stupid. Aim shot. Boom. Bye. <laughs> I'm just killing all residents over here. Punk. And I go first. I like it. <laughs> Let's do this. Obliterated. What does he have? Uh, some stuff. Room key, of course. What's in these? Oh. 
So you can basically just go in here and kill everyone. There's another punk here. Okay, never mind. Right, let's uh, do a quick save. I'm guessing we'll be coming here and getting Bob over here. Because he has that interesting key card. And we have to go back. We can't open those doors, so... He said just around the corner. Is that just around the corner here? Because I got the core city bar. Hardcore city bar backdoor key. So I'm guessing... Um, there's the arena, so I'm guessing over here. The other side. Ugh. I'm guessing this is the... Oh, there's John the Beautiful. There's That's probably the uh, back door. Yep, that's the back door. Ugh. Hey pal, I knew you'd find me. Um, I'm looking for the acid hunters. My tummy hurts. Need a burger. Have you got nothing? What? I do not have a burger. There it is. Oh, that's eel sandwich. Does he not eat that? Oh. Huh. Okay. I thought that burger would be enough, but apparently not. So let's go talk to Gorski and see what he wants. Zone rat. Huh. Zone rats, yo! They're expecting you upstairs. Up the ladder, Jack. Oh. Interesting. There's Gorski. Zone rat. <laughs> I wanted to say, who's that cool looking guy? <laughs> it's, it's us. <laughs> uh, ooh. Rat hat amulet. Some people believe that wearing this will give you the tenacity to survive in harsh environments where the food is scarce. That's 2 XP. Interesting. And uh, hawker and reinforced steel boots. Not bad, actually. Not bad. Lots of armor penalty, which I still don't quite understand what that means. But oh well. There's a foot locker I can also get. Quite some nice stuff. Why not? Sneaky. Uh, I think Gorski wants to speak with you. Sure took your sweet time in getting here. What have you been doing? Sightseeing? Actually, forget it. I don't have time to listen to your stories. We've got work to do here. So what's going on here? Why are you holed up in here? Those pompous gits, the oligarchs, think they can cut me off from what's happening. I came here to stand against the faceless, and yet they told me in no uncertain terms to pack up and leave. None of your business, they said. Since when is Core City none of my business? I dominated these streets back when they were still nothing but Biocorp henchmen. I bet Protector has something to do with it. They're trying to establish here, I can smell it. Well, if they think I'm just going to sit on my hands and let the Protectorate pigs and faceless freaks run around the underrail, they have another thing coming. We're gonna get a foothold in this city no matter what. That's why I rounded up these boys and girls here. Methyl Canyon, meet the Zone Rats and their leader Sneaky. Hey. Sneaky, this is Metal Canyon, the guy I've been telling you about. He makes things happen. Eh? Good to hear. Sneaky and her fine street fighters have decided to throw their lot, uh, us in this endeavor. Uh, with us. Oh, it's a she then. So what's the plan? There are two things that uh, we could use your help with. With zone rats on our side, we have enough manpower to make a presence when the time comes. However, they're not that well equipped, and if it comes to direct conflict with the Protectorate or the Faceless, I'm afraid we would be easily outgunned. I have an idea how we can get a hold of some energy shields that will help us stay alive on the streets. And then there's the matter of misplaced tunneler that we could make use if we manage to recover it before anyone else. What do Tanner and Vera think of your operations here? Tanner has enough trouble holding the fort and making sure the trading is flowing safely. Not to mention all the repairs and stuff, so we don't need to bother him with this. And you seriously think I give a rat hounds behind what Vera thinks about anything? Her place is in the office crunching numbers for trade agreements, not deciding what happens on the streets. How bad is the faceless situation? As you already know, they blockaded the tunnel that connects the south to the rest of the underrail. They've also made a couple of incursions into the outskirts of the city. We don't know what the purpose of the city incursions is, uh, as they are not trying to flood their troops into the city. At least not yet. You mentioned something about the Protectorate trying to get established here. Do you think they're making their moves right now? 
They've been trying to get the foothold here for years, it's no secret. The oligarchs don't trust them, but in the wake of the faceless invasion they might be persuaded to accept assistance from the protectorate's base in the junkyard. Also recently they managed to negotiate in a lease, a lease for one of the biggest warehouses at the docks. And if my sources are correct, they started hoarding weapons and other equipment there. So how do we get those energy shields? Remember that protector at warehouse that I mentioned? As I said, we have a reason to believe they've been hoarding weapons, ammunition and all sorts of the other goodies there. We found out from a fairly reliable source that they recently received a package of high-end energy shields. If you could infiltrate the warehouse and nab those shield emitters, that would both strengthen our position and weaken the protectorate. Sneaky has more details on how you might be able to pull this off. Eh, yeah, there's this... Oof Pop. Yeah, there we go. He's a protectorate soldier. A um, security guard or whatever they call them since they are not officially allowed to have soldiers in the core city. He's also regular here in the bar. Last night he was drinking himself silly with that gauntlet girl and per usual blabbering about this and that. I don't usually pay much attention to him but this time he actually said something interesting. He mentioned the shipment of shield emitters and how they were... they are supposedly top quality stuff that they are not allowed to use yet, which is good, as it probably means they are still st uh, stored together, all together somewhere in the warehouse. The fool got so drunk that he couldn't turn up for a shift today. He rented a room here at the bar to so sober up in. This has happened before, so it won't be unusual to his compatriots that he is missing. You can use this to your advantage. Strike the useless oaf down and procure his armor and security pass. While I don't know if this will allow you to enter f freely into the warehouse, it might still help once you're inside. As long as you don't attract too much attention to yourself. No simple task, eh? But very much worth doing, so you up for it? Heck no, I'm sick of you sending me on <laughs> Yeah, sure. As the spirit, you should speak to Sneak before you head out. She has some info that you'll probably find useful. And uh, I will thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.